Welcome to Web Design Tutorials for HTML. This is lesson number 23. And in this lesson, I'm going to talk about how to create a drop down list for your web form. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is open up the previous document from the previous tutorial. And once you open that up, let's go ahead and get started. You want to go ahead and click inside the web form that we were working on. In this case, I'm going to click right after the input field for Yamaha Moti. And then I'm going to go ahead and write the angle bracket and then the word select and then spacebar key. And then I'm going to write name equals search engines. And then I'm going to write the angle bracket for that. And then I'm going to hit the enter key a couple times and write angle bracket and then select. And that's going to be the opening and closing tag for our drop down list. In other words, it's going to say that this is the starting point for being able to select options from your drop down list and then the ending select tag is the ending point where you'll be able to select items from your drop down list. But before we move any further forward, make sure that you have a closing, I'm sorry, not a closing, but make sure you have a, a break tag after Yamaha Moti. If you don't have one, go ahead and add one right now because we don't want to have this drop down list on the same line as our input field for the Yamaha Moti checkbox. So once you do that, let's go ahead and continue building our drop down list. Within the opening and closing select tag, go ahead and write angle bracket and then option. And then we're going to write value equals. In this case, I'm going to write Google and then write angle bracket. And value is just saying that this is the value that's going to show up if we were to get this, you know, email form sent to our inbox. It would show the value Google. So in this case, I'm going to write Google again, and then angle bracket, and then the closing tag for option. So we'll have an opening and closing tag for any drop down list items. So let's go ahead and, and copy this because I want to add another uh, item to our drop down list. Hit Control V to paste it, and this time I'm going to write the word Bing. And then in the middle, I'm going to write the word Bing again. And then on the next line, I'm going to hit Control V. And this time, I'm going to add Yahoo. So just a quick recap. In order to add a drop down list item, you have to have an open and closing option tag. And then the opening option tag, you want to write value equals for whatever you want the value to be when that person submits your uh, web form to your inbox. Okay, so with that said, if you hit Control S, go ahead and preview this in your web browser. And as you can see, we have a drop down list here. If we click on it, it reveals Google, Bing, and Yahoo. And you can select any of those items from your drop down list. But what if there was a more popular search engine that you wanted to show up by default. Maybe you didn't want Google to show up by default. Maybe you wanted Yahoo to show up by default. Maybe that's the primary search engine that most people use to find your website. And you're trying to collect information to find out if that still holds true. But you know that by default, the most common way they find you is through the Yahoo search engine. Well, let's go ahead and go back to our HTML document. And go to Yahoo as our drop down list item. And right after that, we're going to add the word selected. And what that's going to tell the web form is to select Yahoo by default. So go ahead and hit Control S and go ahead and go back to your web browser. Hit Control R to refresh. And actually, I don't think I can use the refresh option to reset this drop down list. So I'm going to actually have to go back to the file on my computer and reopen the file. And you'll see this time when I reopen the file, it sets it to Yahoo by default. And even though that's the last item in the list. Okay. And I was actually wrong. It did reset it to Yahoo or I had already had Yahoo selected, whichever the case. It, it allows you to set whatever option you want in there. So what I'll do is I'll set it to Google, hit the refresh key. Yeah. So the refresh key doesn't work in this case when you have, um, a drop down list. So you would have to go back to your file on your computer, like I'm doing right now. And you'll see this time it shows Yahoo as the default 
item selected, even though it's the last item in the list. So I just wanted to make sure you understood that it will select that value. So if this video was helpful, don't forget to embed, comment, share, subscribe, and I hope that you stay tuned for future tutorials. Have a great day.